What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I got another exciting video for you and today I'm introducing the new Movie Studio 17. Magic's just released their version of this and what Movie Studio is, it's basically more of a beginner slash intermediate video editor compared to the pro version Vegas Pro, which is geared towards more professional video making. Movie Studio has a lot of the same functionality that Vegas Pro has. It's just a lot more easier to use and user friendly. Some real cool things about Movie Studio is that it is one sixth of the price of Vegas Pro. So it's one of the most affordable video editors out there. What makes it the best video editor for the price is that it introduces AMD support, encoding and decoding which until now has only been in high-end and expensive video editors. Movie Studio 17 can utilize your AMD graphics card or your NVIDIA graphics card to help playback performance and rendering speeds. It can also read and create in the new HEVC video codec, which means higher quality files and much smaller file size. It offers a lot of the same awesome plugins that Vegas Pro 17 has, like the full color grading panel, warp flow, super smooth slow motion, and a bigger arsenal of fonts. In fact, this entire video that you're watching now was created in Movie Studio 17. So let's jump into Movie Studio 17 and take a look at the program. So when you load up Movie Studio 17, it comes to this splash page right here. This little splash page has all your existing projects on your left, and it also has the beginner's intro guide to easy creation on the right. This is for those new editors who don't really know the details of what they're going to be wanting to edit. It has easy buttons to let you know if you want to make your video for a computer screen like YouTube or TV, or you want to put it on your phone for like Facebook or Instagram. Guided Video Creator basically creates the video for you. It just asks you where your media is, what song do you want to use, and what title you want to use, and it'll throw it together all for you. That is for the absolute beginner. Once you get down to easy editing modes, you can customize a little bit more things, like where the song goes, fade-ins, fade-outs, transitions, and then of course down here you have your power user mode, which is access to the entire program in its full functionality with no guidance whatsoever. I'm going to select power mode right here, and that brings me to the classic Vegas timeline. On the left hand side here they have your dashboard, which can assist you in creating your video and organizing your media and whatnot. Over in the middle section we're going to have all our customizable options. Starting off with the project media tab, this is where you're going to see all of your media. In other editors this is also called a media bin. If you hover your mouse and drag them across the video files, you're going to be scrubbing the video and seeing a preview of what the clip has to offer. It makes it really easy to find the clip you want without having to double click and play it. Now I know I want to make a video with all of these clips, so I'm going to select my first clip, hold shift and select my last clip, and just click and drag them onto my timeline. It's going to ask you do you want to match your project settings to your video settings. So all these clips are in 1080p, so I do want my project to be in 1080p, so I'm going to hit yes. Once I've done that, I've successfully put media onto my timeline. Now this timeline is where you control pretty much everything, your text, your video, and your audio. Let's go back up to our middle section and click on Explorer. This is basically like a Windows folder explorer, and you can scroll through here and find specific media and drag it onto your timeline. If we go to the Transitions tab, we have a bunch of transitions that we can put in between our clips. Movie Studio also allows you to use third-party plugins and transitions. So I scroll down, you'll see a bunch of transitions I own as well. So that vastly increases my list. Conveniently at the top, it actually labels them in different categories. So if I wanted just 3D effects, it'll filter all the 3D ones out. If I wanted any kind of reveals, it'll filter all of those out. You also have the ability to press a little star next to it if you use this one a lot. And that'll put it on the special favorites menu where all your favorites will go. If you scroll down and see video effects, we'll see all the video effects Movie Studio has to offer. Again, if you own additional plugins, they will be inside this as well. And like transitions, it has the categories at the top for easy finding. The final tab down here is Media Generator, and this is where you'll find gradients, solid colors, and text. Over here on the right hand side we have our video preview menu, and this basically shows you what's on your timeline wherever your cursor is landing. And on the right here we have our volume. This will let you know if your audio is too quiet or too loud when you play it. Here at the top toolbar we have a bunch of quick options right here, which we have new file, open file, save, properties, copy cut paste, the basics. And then we have the make movie button, which this is a step by step guide on exporting and rendering your video. Beside that we have a show me how button, which teaches you how to edit your video like we've talked about step by step, but it's an interactive guide. Now if we go to projects and go down to render as, this will bring up our render as window. And in these settings, you can choose how you want to export your video or audio. There are a lot of options, so one of the easiest things to do is go to the filters at the top right and just say match project settings. And that'll filter out all the things that don't apply to your video project settings. 
An example of a really good render setting is the Magix AVC AAC. This lets you create an MP4 video, which is one of the most widely accepted and playable formats in existence. You can also create just MP3 files. You have a lot of options of how you want to render out this media. Over time, you can learn new techniques and editing tricks to make your video that much more entertaining. But again, nobody's perfect right off the bat. A cool thing about Movie Studio is that it's very, very similar to Vegas Pro, which is the professional editing software. So if you don't know how to do something in Movie Studio, you can always search how to do something in Vegas Pro, and you'll most likely get the exact same answer. And there you have it. You now know what Movie Studio 17 looks like and what it has to offer, how easy it is to use. If you were ever on the fence of wanting to own a video editing program, but didn't want to spend the big bucks or do a subscription, Movie Studio 17 is your choice. And you could also use that link in the description to download a trial version of Movie Studio just to take it for a spin, see if it's something you like. So don't forget to hit that little like button and the subscribe button down there because that'll really help me out and help the channel grow. That'll also keep you up to date with all the video editing tutorials I do as well. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you on the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.